I love accountants that can be killers too. Every accountant I hire always is a killer. It makes life so much easier if something needs to happen. Ben Affleck is the accountant. Now going into this movie, I assumed that the accountant was about the dude who loved numbers, who loved math and loved to do accounting. And I was partially right. Because when I started watching, I realized this guy's really into accounting, which is not cool at all, I'll be honest. To most people, accounting's like a different language. I mean, even doing taxes. Does anyone even understand that? Basically, how I do my taxes is I just kind of take a pen and just, just circle things. and I always get a letter that makes me have to pay more money, which is weird. But, and then it took a turn. An action movie turn. And you find out the accountant is basically like autistic. And if, if you've ever run into autistic kids, they're crazy. They can be creepy and amazing. It's like, it's weird. They're like, they close their eyes and their tongue, they stick their tongue out a lot. They're like, one is a kid I met recently. I mean, he would do all kinds. He would like shove his fingers in his ear a lot. And he would be like, he'd do this weird like sound. And he just kept rocking. Similar in this movie. The kid does that at one point. And he just kept doing it. And the only way to get this kid to stop was to punch him. But this movie had more to do with this autistic kid and then his dad was kind of a jerk and so his dad would basically put him into positions where people would punch him a lot and he would learn how to defend himself, Jason Bourne style. He's an accountant for all of the biggest mobs and the biggest crime syndicates all over the globe. So he's making all kinds of money. I mean, this guy is a rich mofo, right? He is so rich, it's unbelievable. And then he has all, he has a secret layer. He's, I'm going to say, he's Batman for normal people. He's just doing accounting instead of being Batman. And then he, he does his accounting thing for some big corporation and finds out that they were going to go, they were going to, they were going to do like an IPO and uh, do a public offering and then, you know, make a bunch of money or something. And that, that was a little, maybe too cerebral for me because it was kind of like, what, what are they doing? I, why is he angry at these guys? I, I didn't quite understand. And then they target him and this girl, Anna Kendrick. So then the bad guys go after her and he angers him. And so he uses a sniper rifle and kills a bunch of them. And then it turns into a manhunt. The FBI is after him. And ultimately he goes on a, a killing rampage to make sure that these people can't kill this girl, Dana, uh, Anna Kendrick, because he's kind of, I think he has kind of a boner for her. And then lo and behold, it all comes together at the end in a big fire firefight. Everyone's gunning each other down, shooting each other. He gets shot. Oh, the shit is coming down. Even the Punisher's in this. John Bernthal's in this. And you see him here and there, and then at the end, it's John Bernthal versus the accountant Ben Affleck, which is Batman, so it's Batman versus Punisher in a way, which is an awesome, I would love to see that. And then they just make up. And you're like, what? They happen to be brothers. That's it. It's just the brothers. So they basically stick their tongues in each other's mouths and the movie ends. And you're like, what the fuck just happened? All this for that? That's the movie.